Welcome, Sagittarius Capricorn, to your end of the month reading for March. Hope your friends are doing great out there. If your friends like this, please like and subscribe. Okay, friends, let's see what's going on with you and your end of the month reading. Yes, message, please. Justice card coming out. Something is very balanced within the situation. If you have any kind of court cases or anything coming in, it will be justified in your favor. Um, beautiful Libra card coming out. Um, so, yes, definitely feeling like everything is balanced. Everything is in your favor. I love that. And the truth, you know, the truth is also there. Can't forget about the truth within the situation. So, if you feel like somebody was being untruthful to the situation, you're going to find that. Um, that's not to be the case. That truth will be told. So definitely the truth within the, the patience and planning and the justice within this um, whole, um, it feels businessy. Um, it feels like whatever it is, it's going truthfulness. It's a good investment on whatever you're doing. You might even have some kind of good opportunity coming your way um, that's likely to be justified um, through any kind of management or anything that's going on. Um, your intuition is really sparking over here in the present. Okay, so. And in the recent past, you have, yeah, conflict and defeat. So it does feel like whatever it was, it's now going to be justified where you had the conflict and the defeat in the recent past. In the near future, you're going to end up in the waiting game, though. Um, I just think that that's just because you're still patiently planning, right? So however you're still patiently planning, that's the way it's just going to um, bring itself back. Um, to, and it's just because all the truth and all the justification is coming through. So it's just going to make you feel like, okay, part two, you had a transformation in thought. Your intuition got you out of the suffering and silence from the situation, bringing in a more hopeful situation in, in their end of the month. So that's good. In the waiting game, you definitely are at some emotional loss within the situation, but it brings in the universe, so wow. So no matter what, it'll bring you back into the destined path that you're supposed to be in with the patiently planning. It's just that, man, it's going to freaking hurt, right? And it's saying, yeah, because the conflict and the defeat from this justice of not being justified, because I'm telling you that justice card was right, was upside down in the, near, in the recent past, um, with the transformation is bringing in the wheel of fortune. So you do feel this transformation of this shift in the way that you're thinking and the way that things are going on around you to bring in a little more luck in this situation. That shift though and that transformation of what's going on between you and this person or this situation um, definitely has a lot of clarity coming in. And you know, the shift brings the clarity with the King of Wands coming in to where you find, okay, well fine, I will take the ball into my own hands. I'm going to put in extra hours, extra work, extra time, and bring these proceeds back up and get everything justified where it needs to be. Um, right? Because that's the way it has to be. You're going to have to curve something, right, to be able to fix whatever the potential earnings are to make everything justified. So this, though, does help you get out of the suffering and silence. So now you don't feel like you're just stuck against the wall anymore. So it's definitely bringing an ending to that to where things are looking up. So you do have this more hopeful, everything's looking up effect. That's because of the Wheel of Fortune, though, coming in, changing that cycle. Yeah, because you didn't feel like this person was offering you anything at that time. Um, you didn't see anything going in this way. And you might even felt like somebody was irresponsible um, to the situation or definitely lying about how they're doing things. Um, but the patience and planning it will continue to keep going as you're getting stronger. And look, the stability of what you have brings in this self-assurance with that courageous outlook um, that you have going on right now at the end of the month. So it's almost like you could say, well, you know, it's not balanced enough for them to want to do what's right. But I'm going to keep patiently planning on fixing this and giving it a more stable, firm foundation um, and that's definitely what you're doing. So uh, with the King of Pentacles over here, it's saying that you are moving. But it's such a slow movement with the King of Pentacles, but at least it's persistent. So you're definitely driving at this persistently, 
right? So if you're driving in a nail, you're definitely continuing to keep hammering in the same spot until that nail goes all the way into the wall. Um, because you are hopeful it's going to stand on its own. That stability will withhold what you're doing. Uh, but because this person over here, I don't think that they have the balance, you guys. I don't think they could stand on, really stand on one leg without falling over. They're the type of person, uh, whoever this is that you're dealing with, when I'm feeling this energy, that they can't walk and chew gum at the same time. Um, and this is the truth. And it's sad. Because why? Because everything that they're doing is causing this conflict of interest within the situation that causes things to not move, things to get off balance, and it's not helping the workforce at all. So yeah, definitely. And they don't even have the faith that they know what they're doing. So it just feels like they're trying to blow a bubble and walk, but they know they can't do so. Um, well, how are you gonna hold tight to somebody who cannot do this? How are you going to be self-assured in knowing that they're going to proceed to do the work the way it's supposed to be worked um, when they don't even have faith in themselves to even do anything? So it's definitely affecting the quality of your workspace. Oh my gosh. And it just causes you confusion. So you're, they're going to cause a lot of confusion towards the end of the month. Because, look, if they don't have the faith that this is going to go through and that this is going to be justified, how are you supposed to continue to play, patiently plan on the situation? Oh, boy, I'm telling you, it's just a good thing that you still have hope and faith and optimism alive because you're saying this will be justified. And Spirit says it will. You're just going to have to wait because right now it's taking a tumble right now because uh, they blew a bubble and fell down. And you're going, oh, my God, again? So... Even though everything is going to be justified, I think this card right here right now is really showing the truth in this situation. Look, you know that they're not stable enough to do this. You know that they don't even have faith within themselves to do something. So all they're doing is proving that you're right. The truth is setting this situation free from your own mind, but it's also causing confusion. Look, if they're not good enough, let's put it this way for an example. If they're not good enough for this job and they keep dropping the ball because they don't know what they're doing, how do they keep their job and how am I supposed to pick up their broken pieces? It's going to take forever. So, yeah, no, they can't hold on to nothing. Situation just keeps falling and it's a loss. So you guys just keep losing money. So if you feel like your career is because maybe you hired, let's say you own your own business and you hired this general manager to do this job, guys, and put them in as a manager, you're going to lose your ass and you know it because they're not doing their job right. You hired a bartender at your bar and they can't serve drinks with the crap. You know you're going to lose money because what is going to happen in the end? Everything. Right. They're slow. They're lost. They're all over the place. Take it however it resonates. But really, this justice is the truth. And the truth is you were right all the time. You knew that they could not do this. This was too much for them to handle or they're just not good enough for the job, not qualified maybe enough for the job. But I don't like the idea that they don't have the faith. Not having faith in yourself is not going to help them because that means they're not going to come to ask for help. They're not going to come to do what they need to do or come to any kind of resolution. So as you're patiently planning over here how to get everything back in order, they're losing faith hour by hour in themselves. So with the waiting game is saying that now the loss is so horrible that you don't even know what you're holding on to. Where's the monetary gains? They just keep losing things. Yeah, but they keep deceiving themselves and trying to deceive you by telling you, oh, no, I know what I'm doing. But they're causing you emotional loss in the, in the near future because they don't know what they're doing. How are you supposed to have any kind of change in energy, you know, in energy or anything? The only energy you're getting is emotional loss as they continue to keep screwing it up. Yeah. <clears throat> They're causing an emotional withdrawal within yourself as you're watching all of this take place. Um, they don't even have, now they're an emotional loss though too. So we have pre-calculating. So you're going to have to pre-calculate the situation, my friends. And you, you are. Because... You know, and if you own a business, you're going to have to go through the calculations of how much you've lost throughout the month due to hiring this person or however it is. 
But no matter what the situation is, you're definitely going to have to pre-calculate some kind of um, well, something to help you get back on track. You know, and for some of you, you know, who do own a house and own a business and all that, you might even feel like your house is at risk um, because of this loss. You might feel like your business is at risk because of this loss. This person is causing major major injury oh my gosh i said major injury and there it is nine <laughs> nine of swords may or nine of wands major injury wow they are definitely causing major injury take it how it resonates and you know it but i love that the universe is down here though because that's going to be the this the wheel of fortune that sets you free in the end the major cycle turnaround that you've been waiting for within the transformation of the Wheel of Fortune opening for the fortune of the fortune of understanding. Now I see what the fortune is. The fortune is the Wheel of Fortune is of the by chance of the intuition to understand the major cause so that you can get the Wheel of Fortune to come this way. See how it's coming down this way, my friends. So it definitely once you figure this out, you're going to realize where, and I think that's what it all is. I'm really telling you, the major change within the Wheel of Fortune is the understanding of where are we losing? It's this guy, right? Why isn't the patience and planning justified when I keep trying to fix things? This guy. So the only way to really keep that Wheel of Fortune and get back on the destined path, um, if you guys own your own business, you already know the answer. You're going to have to get rid of this person who doesn't have any hope and faith or you're going to have to have a really big, huge conversation with this person and make them pump up to gain some kind of hope and strength. One way or another, they're going to have to learn because now you're watching them like a hawk. Why are you watching them like a hawk? Because you see their loss. You see that they don't have. You see they're helpless and hopeless within the situation. Are they really, though? You know, and here's where the thing is. If they had better opportunity or do they need some kind of help to understand what the hell they're doing? Um, so I'm not really sure if the start, for some of you are going to say they are helpless and hopeless. We've already tried to work with them. Everybody's story is different. Um, take it how it's going to resonate. I'm going to leave it there for you because everybody is different. It's either, they're no matter what they don't, feel like they're going to change or I don't they don't feel it but you have all these other oppor opportunities and new decisions that are going to have to you know come in because you just cannot be sorted like this this is not the way to make money this is not the way so you might even have to allow these two other people to take over a situation just for you to get rid of this one or have these two other people come in to help this other person because no matter what it's going to cause joy and celebration there now you see the outcome I'm not going to take this anymore. I'm making a decision and we are getting our joy and celebration. So if you do feel like whatever you're going to do um, to make this not a hopeless, helpless situation anymore for this person, because you still feel the hope, um, you're going to definitely have to get moving in the right direction um, to really help this situation go forward. Because you do have the three of cups, which is good and it will come in quick. You know, but you have to figure out whether or not you're going to make them leave or are you going to make them move in a different direction to make them have more understanding about the situation. However it is, it's going to be some movement. It's going to be something, right? Because no matter what, it has to happen. Thank you. You know, so you're going to be definitely patiently planning to watch your, your ships come in and do a whole nother area over here. They are kind of meditating upon the situation as you're giving out the situation. I just don't see them really being as helpful as you want them to be. Sorry, that's just what I see. As you have other people coming in to help with the situation, I don't feel like they have the self-confidence enough to actually do what they need to do. You want them to be more confident, more serene about the situation. And the more it feels like you keep pushing them towards the situation of being more optimistic and learning and doing the things you need, they feel like they're being neglected. They feel like you're pushing them out in the cold. What did I do wrong? Okay, look. I did everything I was supposed to do. No, you didn't. I'm sorry. You caused conflict and you caused a lot of heartache 
Um, it, it could have been just something just as easy as them coming to tell you, I think I don't know what the hell I'm doing. But they didn't want to do that. So it does feel like you are bringing someone else in or out looking for someone to take their area and their job um, or the bosses. Once you get all of this squared away, no matter what the situation is, it does feel like someone else is going to come in, um, you know, to get it back the way it used to be from the past. So however it was, yeah, see, because it was flourishing once before. <laughs> so it does feel like you're going to have this nostalgic feeling once this page of wands comes in to take over the situation. You're going to feel like you're right back on track now. Now you're going to really feel the justification coming in. You're going to say, I don't care if it's a business partner. I don't care who this person is, right? Everybody has their own story, but it's definitely going to feel like you're almost going backwards, which is crazy, right? Because you're going to say, well, now I feel like this is 19, you know, maybe it's 2018 now where we're actually doing a better job, um, or however it is. But it does feel like you're making the monetary gains or whatever the situation is that you were once making once before this all happened. What a terrible cycle, though. Terrible cycle. And if you guys do own your own business, well, yeah, you definitely lost, especially this month. And it does feel like it's been going on for a little bit of time. I think the problem is for some of you who do own your own business, it was trying to figure out really who was really making the biggest problems, <coughs> excuse me, within the situation. They may have been trying to blame clientele, but then your clients will say it was them. They don't even know how to make a martini. <clears throat> so the Wheel of Fortune, like I said, was definitely giving the clarification of how to change the cycle to a better cycle. Okay. Beautiful reading, my friends. Until next time. Peace and love. Bye-bye.